here we go again at the digital job site working with our crown molding profile and uh, now hopefully uh, if there's any benefit at all to this exercise it would start here uh, once that pro molding profile has been created so I've uh, I've selected the profile face that we created I'm just going to copy that oops I'm going to copy that there we go and then paste it over here off to the side and um, now we have something to work with. I'm just going to select and drag this going from upper right to lower left. That dotted line selects everything that it touches. Um, I'm going to right click here and hide all that business just to get it out of the way and keep our model a little more simple. It still exists over there but we don't have to interact with it. Okay, so uh, here's our profile. Accurate um, to the molding from the lumber yard. Um, and we'll just start working with this. I'm going to make a group out of this by right-clicking, make a group out of that geometry. And uh, we wanted to get, this is laying basically flat on the floor or table or whatever, and we want to rotate that thing up into a, an orientation as it would be going between a ceiling and a wall. And you can grab the rotate tool and try to manipulate things here, but it, it's just going to be stubborn when you want it to stand up because SketchUp can't figure out you want this to go in a vertical plane. So a real slick way to do this is just whip out a little box here, pop it up with the um, with the push pull tool, and now when I want to rotate this geometry, I can select the rotate tool, index it to one of these faces, and it'll it'll um, behave like I want it to. So the first thing we want to do is roll this thing up. So I'm going to take the red uh, axis plane by holding down the shift key. I lock in the inference. I'm just going to put it on the edge of this molding here drag off in the green direction and just rotate it up 90 oops 90 degrees I flinched and it made it 84.7 I just type it in and I get 90 degrees so now our molding is laying down and we want to next stand it up like it'd be next to a wall so we still have the rotate tool I'm going to index in the green um, direction and we um, made this molding 37 degrees so I'm going to get this to line up with um, that back edge of the molding and then rotate it 37 degrees and that's now laying flat in the direction um, that, that that edge would be parallel to the floor or the bench or the ground or whatever um, with the rotate tool I'm grabbing the green direction holding the shift key and now rotating this up 90 degrees so by using that box we can get this molding to behave and now I want that um, I just want to drop this thing down on the ground so I'm going to move it in the blue axis direction and grab the bottom corner hold down the shift key and then index it to the bottom of the box so I know that that's sitting on the ground plane all right don't need this box anymore so let's oops I selected some things I didn't want to there so delete our box now we have a molding sitting the way we want it to and uh, this is the what I'd call the final setup stage um, for uh, for calculating our molding layouts so I've just drawn a rectangle here and I want it to be a little bigger so I'm just going to grab the scale tool and make it bigger right click this reverse the faces so we're working on a white surface okay um, so uh, I'm going to um, let this rep rectangle represent uh, the ceiling or, the f or, a, or a flat horizontal plane for purposes of running a molding. And um, I'm just going to put a couple guidelines in here, one at a 45. And then uh, let's see, this will make sense momentarily. So I've traced the 45 degree line, gone back here um, on a parallel line and then throw another protector in here and we're going to go 30 degrees, 30 degrees. And now and then we'll uh, make our crown molding follow these um, directions. 
Got that geometry set up. Grab the erase tool. Get rid of all this extra stuff we don't need here. And uh, we'll grab our little profile. And I want to get the profile to sit on the end of that line and it behaved and lined up right there for me. So now uh, we're going to use the follow me tool like I did in the quick and slick uh, video series. Uh, first we need to explode this. Oops. What did I do there? First I need to explode this group. Then I'm going to select everything by triple clicking and then deselect the crown molding by um, dragging around it. So this jagged line here is going to be our path. Grab the follow me tool, click on our molding profile and uh, just like that SketchUp um, takes the crown molding and um, turns it on a 45 and a 30 degree angle and uh, I guess we could go back a step and add a 90 degree corner in here doesn't matter how many we do here by paying attention to the axis direction I put a 90 degree corner in there and yeah, we'll leave it an inside corner because an inside corner and an outside corner are going to have the same um, compound miter angles Okay, so now I select the um, profile. I've got to go back and um, ungroup the geometry. Here we go. There's our profile or our path. Grab the follow me tool and click the profile. Now we've got a full set of angles, a 45, a couple 45s, a couple 30s, and a 90. So I'll stop here. Um, with this since we've we've uh, copied our profile and then um, place the profile use the follow me tool to show um, what the crown molding would look like installed on these various angles and then I'll take a last video to show how to um, to copy the compound miter angles which was the purpose of this long drawn out process from the beginning